up to yourselves. That's 21 appointments, guys. I know we cut it short a little bit early yesterday because it was raining, um, and we wanted to get back here and do the training with Derek. Uh, this morning, he's going to go over some objection handling, um, a little bit of his door pitch so that you guys can see exactly how that works. Who is having a good time on this blitz? You guys like getting to know each other, the training, the hotel, the awesome pool. Um, we forgot to mention this in the beginning. There is a prerequisite for showing up to the next blitz, okay? The requirements are minimum requirements. You need to have two deals. If you do not have two deals, that NTP, that basically go through and they go through to the next steps, um, you do not come back on the next blitz. Actually, I'm sorry. You can come back on the next blitz, but you need to pay for your hotel and your flight. Does that all make sense, everyone? You guys in? You guys in? Let's go. Make sure you add your own personality and flavor to the pitch. Have the same points you always hit. We go over the same stuff. We just say it in different ways, right? What that does is makes you not a robot on the doors. Because if I write my entire script out, which I did for you guys last night, and you memorize that word for word and say it word for word, it's gonna be better than not having a pitch, but you gotta add your own little personality to it. You just wanna make sure you're becoming yourself on the doors and having fun. Again, having fun is the key to success. The bold people in sales find success. And I get it, I've had bad weeks, I've had bad months, and I've come, to, I've come from not having a ton and I want to make a lot of sales, but those are the worst times. Like those have been the worst sailing moments for me or selling days when I'm like needing it. Right. Or like, I'm, I'm like desperate for it. When I'm like holding my, my, my positioning like that, or I'm like, look, and I'm, I say bold stuff like that. Like, look, if you're actually interested, like, let me know. If not, I'll get out of my way. Cause I don't want to waste my time. They're going to respect the hell out of you. Right. And they'll, for one, they'll probably say no. Guess what? You weren't gonna sell them anyways. Get out of there. But sometimes they'll be like, hey dude, I, I respect that. The people who are amazing at this job are the ones the most dialed in. Meaning they have structure, they have a set time frame for everything, they have a schedule. They put their phone away and they just get it work. I've had guys come up to me over and over and over. Man, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Play me your pitch. Guy plays me 10 different pitches, 10 different. I'm like, why are they all different? Why aren't you doing what Derek said to do? Well, man, I just thought that, don't think. He, Derek is literally removing the thinking aspect of it. It's have a conversation. You hit, hit certain bullet points. Rule number one, don't be a weirdo. And then just follow the process. The person that puts in the work is gonna make it happen. The one that puts a lure on a line and stands there by the lake is gonna catch a fish. Not the one back home YouTubing different lures and how they work. If you guys are gonna do what Derek said, <clears throat> keep it simple, say I'm in. If you are going to keep it really easy, say I'm in. Let's go. Derek's training today was, was a, a big eye opener. Um, I'm saying way too much on the doors and, and I'm not being myself. We gotta have a better connection with the community. That's why we go door to door. That's why we don't cold call people. We go to door to door to, to actually get to know the community and see how we can help them. He brought it all the way back to the basics. He said structure. He said you're a human. You, you gotta do things that you know how to do to the best of your ability. But while you're doing that, you gotta add in structure. You gotta add in, what's the basics? What's one, two, and three? All right, stick with those and run with it. He went over a lot of really good points. You know, the one that really stuck to me was sell the appointment. And what I need to say is what they've told me to say and I need to stop trying to recreate the wheel. Everyone's kind of calling, wondering, looking into like new renewable sources, like windmills on the roof. <laughs> oh yeah, right? Kind of weird. Uh, or even like the solar panels, like generating all site power. Um, has someone ever, I was, have you ever looked into that for your home or not yet? Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna be completely candid with you. I don't work this job for the, renew to, for the renewable energy. Yeah. I work it for the savings, <laughs> right? Yeah, you seem young, man. 31. 
okay, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, you seem young, dude, and you already have a kid. <laughs> yeah. Making me feel bad about myself. No, no man. <laughs> Everyone's got their own timeline. You know how it is. Yeah, exactly. You never know. What can I do, guys? <laughs> oh, hey, how you doing? All right, hi, what I you like do? this. <laughs> yes, indeed. What does this do for you? Oh, man, it's nice. Uh a lot of people who've either said no to other companies or have gone with other companies are kind of actually voiding their contracts and switching with us. The reason being is, so what's called, we're, we're in-house, meaning we actually do everything ourselves. Everyone, it's always smart to kind of look at a couple of them because like I said, most people are switching over just because there's so much more in savings. The way it works, at least for us, is obviously you gotta get out of the contract. We're gonna buy you out of it. We're gonna pay for your cancellation fee. I don't care if it's 200 bucks, 200 bucks. We're gonna make sure we get it done for you. So what happens is this is gonna roll over every single month, right? And then every 12 months, you'll actually get cut a check for whatever that amount is. Now that I like. Yeah, making a lot of now money, that, now right? Now that I like. If y'all can give me what they said they was giving me that I ain't got yet, we can do something. Larry, I think I'm finna switch. Sound that good, man? And that's how it's done, boys. And also, this is for the naysayers who say I'm washed. I ain't washed anymore. Did you already buy it? Yeah. You already know what house? Let me, let me build it right oh, now. Oh, yeah, he's got the address and everything, man. Perfect. We out here. I'm going to have some glass on the roof in two weeks. Let's right? do it. Yeah, so basically, we just walked up on this homeowner who was, I think he was cleaning his car, and he signed up with Lone Star, another solar company. Basically, they had some things that they promised, but it wasn't in writing, so he's kind of a little irritated about that. Able to switch him over, better deal. His cousin heard the entire thing, signed him up as well. So we got a little two for one right there to end the day. Not bad, I'm not washed. We are here, downtown Houston at the Rustic. Super cool surprise, Tanner showed up today. Tanner, the VP of sales of Lumio. He's actually treating us all to dinner. Um, it's been a tough day. There was some rain clouds, it was hot. Uh, we've all been knocking doors, quite a few appointments set. Um, Derek actually showed up. He closed two deals today. It was absolutely awesome. And right now, we're all, uh, we're all meeting here for dinner. We've got about 30 guys gonna eat here at, uh, at the Rustic. Tanner's actually gonna cover everything. It's super, super cool. Um, I'm like super pumped. Like, I've never been a part of something where you actually get to get, get together with a group of like-minded people all talk the same language, all focusing towards the same goals. They almost hit you with the car. <laughs> you guys, I'm super pumped. This is this is awesome. You guys look bored. Yeah. Are you bored? Yes. I have a question. What if I could show you how to make $8,000 in a week? We're one of the largest solar companies in the entire United States. And we're gonna be the biggest. We're gonna be like the Costco of solar. Yeah, yeah. Would you ever be interested in, in seeing what that looks like? When I go buy a pair of shoes, and I try them on, I look them in the mirror, and I don't like them, I don't buy them, right? What's your area code? Check this out. I tried to uh, talk to them about solar. Uh, neither one of them own their own homes. However, that kid, he, um, he works here. He goes to school. He said he was interested in like part-time work. Told me if I call him the next time we get here that uh, he'd be interested in seeing what we're, what we're doing, taking a look at what we're doing. So the next blitz, I'll give him a call, have him jump on our Zoom calls. And I mean, at the end of the day, if it's for him, great. If it's not for him, it's not for him. But there is the opportunity for him to make anywhere between three to $8,000 in a 10 day period. That's what I did on my first blitz. And so when we come back to Texas, I'm definitely giving that man a call because he's a hard worker. Derek McKenzie, regional manager, and Tanner Hale, vice president of sales for DECA. I appreciate you guys so much for coming out for our blitz. It's my first blitz I've ran. Um, you know, been here for two months, so I'm really excited about it. Tanner actually created the blitz, so it's pretty cool having you out here, inspiring our team, taking us out for team dinner. I just wanted to ask, man, like, what does it, what does it feel like coming out here and like seeing a group of guys that have never done sales before? And just obviously, this is not the only blitz you're running, but what does it feel like coming out here and seeing what you've created and? and seeing how you're literally changing people's lives with these blitzes. Yeah. The opportunity that you're giving to these guys that you've known for years, they've never been able to earn this kind of money, you're giving that to them, right? That's what I get to feel, right? Because I started the exact same place. 
where I was going out, running the teams. I was the one knocking the doors, running the morning meetings, and literally watching these guys change their lives in one week. Where they were coming into these blitzes on these teams with three, four hundred bucks in their checking account, real talk, and they were getting their commission stubs just like yours for five, six, ten, fifty thousand dollars, and their lives were changing overnight. So, dude, literally, as I come and I visit all these teams and watch you guys go and break the numbers that I was doing months ago, and you guys are going and doing it twice as good, it's, uh, dude, it's the same feeling I get giving that opportunity to you guys, bro. How do you feel, Derek? Like, what's, what's this feeling like right now? Coming out here, dude, seeing a group of guys that you've never met before and just realizing that, like, you made this possible. You made I this think, possible for us. I think the cool part is, obviously, like he was talking about, um, seeing, like, that opportunity for you guys, because I, I come from having less than $300 in my bank account, right? Ten months ago. Um, and, like, literally negative. But, dude, I think the real thing is, like, watching you guys grow as leaders and managers, because I remember the first blitz, it was my first time leading a squad that big, right? 35 guys, and I was way over my head. You knew it. Everyone knew it, right? Like, the calls I was getting, the text I had no idea what I was doing. And then coming from that to now where it's like, you guys, like you said, five, five blitzes, but you guys are all your own managers, and watching you guys do that, and I can kind of just be there to help and cultivate, it, it makes me so super happy because you're getting that same success, right? And you're, you're moving your way up the ranks as well. And that's all I care about is watching you guys grow and yeah. turning the squad here. Like coming from day one to day, like now, I mean, it's insane just to see like the difference because of you as a leader. Describe the blitz, why you started it, how you started it, what inspired you, where we're at right now, right? 20 blitzes and then where, where DACA and Lumia wants to go as an organization. And so the blitz idea first originated because there was that summer program, right? And it was college students getting out of class and going and selling for the summer because that was the only time they had, right? Well, now we're in a whole nother playing field, right? The pest control, the alarm sales, that was another playing field. This is the big leagues, right? So this is solar money. Guys don't need college anymore. This is their career, right? So we've got guys who have MBAs, guys who have gone to dental school, law school, who are coming out and doing this because we got a, we got a couple lawyers out literally here. Yeah. we can recruit to anybody to this program where you can come out for 10 days and go through our training go through a leader like Derek and like you before they get on the doors and then come out and change their lives, right? So looking at the model now where it starts with one team, now we're at 20 teams this month and going into Lumio, uh, we're gonna be unstoppable. And quite frankly, we're already unstoppable. Everybody else just doesn't know it yet. And we've already taken over Texas, they just don't know it yet. So we're here to dominate. What's the best advice that Tanner has given you as you've grown as a leader over the last six months? Dude, I think, honestly, one of the best things is keeping your cool, right? Because there's a ton of stressful moments being a leader and there's times where, like we were talking about today, you literally, you wanna hit somebody, right? You wanna yell at them. That is not the way to do it. Like Every time I come and vent to Tanner, I remember back in June, when it was just me and my cousin, right? Yeah. And I was just slinging deals and like I was having all these headaches going on and we are just like, yeah, dude, let's talk. It's 1 a.m. Like we're just chatting it up. The future Lumi Bros that are Lumi watching Bros. this right now, what message do you have for them? How can they get involved? How, how can they join our squad? What advice do you have for them to get involved with Lumio and, and take advantage of the solar opportunity here? There are opportunities that come and go all throughout your lives, right? They're just like a bus. They will come and they will go. You do not have to get on every one of them. This right here, this opportunity in solar is the biggest transfer of wealth happening across the entire world. It is changing from fossil fuels to renewables. And all of us here at the Lumi Bros, we're all a part of it. And so if you wanna be connected with the best leadership and the best salesmen of your era, this is the place to be right here at the Lumi Bros. Let's go. Let's go. That was pretty Woo. cool. What's your favorite part about being a Lumi Bro? Being the godfather of the Lumi Bro? Because this guy's literally the godfather, the godfather of the, the Lumi, Lumi Bros. Bros. What does it mean to be a Lumi Bro? Dude, I think my favorite part is just honestly, it's the hype that I get from you. Yes. Right? Like literally being able to walk walk into something and you're just like, this guy this, like I live in all these all these things in a resume. I'm like, man, I didn't even know I had that on my resume, but let's freaking go, dude. Yeah. Like Dude, that's the my hype. favorite part is the hype. It's the and hype. Dude, that's all it is, man. Like, you saw my transfer of wealth. Dude, transfer of energy is all sales is. And everyone in this group 
just has that hype, yep. and that's why there's so much success to be had. Yep. Right, dude, and you're leading it, and that's what I love to see. Let me bros to the top, baby. Let me bros to the top. Let's go. Let's go.